Okay, uh, good morning. Um, hope you guys are, are doing well. Um, I hope you've been able to to enjoy this week uh, during the holidays and, and reconnect with family, um, but uh, also, of course, be safe uh, while doing so. So um, I wanted to share an announcement I have with you guys. I've already communicated this uh, with our youth, but I just wanted to, to uh, share this with our entire congregation. So um, next week, I am planning on stepping down as youth minister at Calvary. So I want to say a couple things. There's really two main things I wanted to focus on uh, for this for this video. So the first is I just want to say thank you very, very much. Um, so I am very, very thankful. I, I've been very blessed, honestly, to, to hold this position. Um, so I actually started in the summer of 2018. Um, so I've held this about two and a half years. Um, and I'm really thankful um, to have been able to do so. We have an awesome, awesome youth. Um, and, um, you know, I can't really emphasize that enough. Our youth are, are unique, um, and caring and, and motivated, and I am very, very thankful. So I feel blessed, uh, to have had the chance to, to work with them. So, um, uh, thank you for, for allowing me to hold this position. Um, I've always felt very supported. Um, you know, our, our, our church, I know cares a lot about our program, uh, people were always asking me, you know, what, what we were doing next, um, how our youth were doing, what we had planned, stuff like this. So um, our church, you know, cares a lot about our youth, and, and I'm very, very thankful to have held this position. The second thing I want to say is just real quick, the state of our program. Um, so I know this year, of course, has been difficult, um, you know, in many, many different ways. But I will say two things about that. The first is that I'm thankful we've been able to meet uh, virtually. Okay, so we've still been able to connect. It's not the same, of course, as being in person, but we have been able to meet, and I'm grateful we've been able to do that um, just every Sunday through Zoom, where we can, uh, you know, we've been able to talk about, about school, um, about life, um, pray for each other, and, and things going on um, with our youth. So I'm happy we've been able to do that. Um, and the second thing I want to say is that I think our youth program is in a very healthy state. So, of course, again, you know, this year has been challenging. Um, but before that, before this pandemic hit, um, you know, we were holding in-person events where our youth were inviting friends. Um, a lot of parents were attending and, and, and we got really, you know, we, we've had really strong engagement. And I think we've really grown over the past couple of years. Um, so that's something I'm really proud of. Our, our youth, you know, the relationships our youth have built with each other. And um, I, I feel very good about the state of our, of our program currently. So I know that next year, um, you know, the, the circumstances surrounding COVID, of course, um, won't suddenly disappear. But I do think, I, mean, I feel strongly that um, once things start to uh, get back to a little more normal, I think that our youth program is in a strong position um, to succeed and, and have a great year and semester moving forward. So uh, we've really, I think, been able to grow and I'm happy just to see, you know, our youth um, inviting friends and, and helping build our program. So, um, you know, again, thank you guys so much. Um, I've been really, really thankful and, and grateful to hold this position. We have an awesome church um, and an awesome, awesome group of youth. So um, that is all I've got for you guys. I hope you guys have a great uh, rest of the week. Thank you one more time and um, talk soon. Thanks.